Hello everybody and welcome back to the multiplayer server. So what we're going to be doing today is just a variety of different jobs. That is always the best thing to do in multiplayer because that way you get to do loads of different things with different players and it just involves everybody. But first, I have just come across this field which has been rowed up previously by somebody else, obviously in the uh, previous multiplayer session and uh, wow, <laughs> there are some fairly tall swaths here. So I don't know if anybody else is going to join in. Um, I think the reason why the swaths are so big is because obviously we've got such a big windrower. I don't think it's been cut twice and then rowed up twice. Um, it would be interesting to see at some point how big we can get the biggest swath of straw. Uh, but it's going to depend on if anybody else wants to come and mow this field. So, I don't know. I, I don't even know where everybody is. The server is 100% full, but not a player in sight. They must have something very interesting to do. Uh, oh, there's lots of things going on in the chat, so we better just read. Um, are we going to have animals at all in this map? That isn't a bad idea, actually. Yes, we can indeed, but that would require me changing the options for who can purchase and sell animals, which is fine. I don't really have a problem with changing it. So if I go on to here, um, it's probably best to use this one. What colour should we go with? Um, green? Yeah, that's good. And it doesn't leave an awful lot of money, but it should still be um, okay to just be able to afford a few things, even though the prices are going to be default. So yeah, pretty expensive. Let me just see. Oh, <laughs> I was hoping to actually have a tractor unit for the lorry, uh, but no. So what we're going to have to do? Oh, I keep, I do this all the time. I whiz past the one I want. Cheap money, two hundred thousand. That way we've still got something to work towards. Uh, it's just we'll have the base equipment. I'm going to go with green, and we'll put the back attacher on. And we finish off with 76,000 for the animals. Okay, so, um, yeah, animal trailer at store. We'll try and catch up with that later. But first, I just need to finish this. Oh, look, somebody is cutting it again. Maybe we can make an extremely tall swath. I would love to. Oh, oh, yeah, time. <laughs> yeah, we must slow down time. Now, obviously, if anybody turns up with the forager, they're going to be taking away this grass, which means we can't make them bigger, but I'm not really too bothered about making them too big. I suppose we could make a dedicated episode just to that. Just to see how big we can make the swaths of grass. So, yeah, yesterday I published the video of my new GoPro and I've got to say I'm very pleased with it, it is a very nice GoPro um, they're expensive but I think it is worth the investment if you're sort of 3 plus or older then yeah a new one is definitely something to consider I'm not saying change it if you've got one because they're still pretty good even the 3's but I think yeah when you've seen 4K if you've actually got a 4K screen which I don't which is ironic but I have a 1440p and you can really appreciate the 4k on there so yeah I mean it is something uh, to consider for certainly YouTubers and uh, hobbyists and yeah, anyone who likes to record anything really if, you, if you're a fan of recording stuff then high quality tends to be the way forward most people appreciate high quality certainly when it comes to publishing videos I'm actually okay with Farming Simulator. Being a YouTube gamer, at least for this channel, um, makes it dead easy because you don't really have to worry about how good your camera is. You just use Fraps or any other recording software. But certainly for Machinery Restorer, Daggerwind Vlogs, that kind of thing, um, yeah, a, a decent camera is a bit of a necessity. Having said that, I must just say this now because I'm bound to get questions and comments about it. The Machinery Restorer series of the John Deere mower, which we're doing, the 185, that has already been recorded quite a bit, so that won't be in 4K since, yeah, most of it's done with the older camera. But anything from, I would say, for Machinery Restorer, anything from November onwards, that would be in 4K, or at least 1080p with a high frames per second. But, yeah, the next few episodes 
in that series will just be standard. Standard being 1080p. So yeah, still pretty good. Anyway, yes. Ian is up here. Hello Ian, anybody else about? Uh, yeah, most people are in uh, different areas actually. We're in W7, Field W7. Now I don't know if anybody has taken the animal trailer up to the livestock market, but before anybody asks I will just change the options for them. Um, then they'll be able to buy the animals they require. There we go. Save game. Perfect. Okay, so somebody's picking up chicken eggs, interestingly. I've just got hiccups, which is very annoying um, when you're trying to record a video. So there may be a few jump cuts here if I start hiccuping. So, up the uh, very nice road here and we're going to go and try and locate all the other players. I'm assuming nobody else is bringing the forager down so we're going to have to go and get it ourselves, which is fine, but I suppose actually we don't need to do it. We could just wait for somebody else to mow it again, then we can row it up and yeah, create these larger swaths. That looks like the uh, sculpture used on Sosnovka. I think it is. Eastern European sculpture of some form. Um, but yep, if we just go up here, we'll try and find everybody else. Um, Ian is here somewhere. There is Ian. Moving on to the next field. Oh, I suppose we should row it up. It's only a small field. Um, but yeah, thankfully today most of the players are just cracking on with their own jobs. It seems to be a very good team of players uh, this week. I'm not saying it wasn't a good team of players last week, it's just there were a few followers. Um, but yeah, this week, fantastic. In fact, quite a lot of these players are the same. I recognise Olis9, or Olis9, Mikey, Ollie, I think. Um, Farmer Jed, yeah, I recognise that name. Jake, yes, in fact, most, I think, <laughs> most of them are the same players. Um, oh, I wonder what happened over at our BGA. I'll leave this here and hope to come back to it, but obviously somebody might take it. I want to teleport over to the BGA, which is somewhere over here. Yes. How did it end up? There is the cell point. It must be around here. Very similar. But it's fermented and everything, so... Yep, lots of money coming in from this. The last thing I wanted to check was the animals, and it appears that we actually don't have any yet. Uh, so, I think... Who is it? Did some, yeah, somebody did comment. I think it was... Let me check. Peyton. It was Peyton. Yes. So, I don't know if he is actually buying any or not. Um, oh. Tobias is going. But, um, yeah, if we can locate the trailer for the livestock, that would be quite good. Lots of machines. We have so many machines. Not in use, including trains. It appears I have indeed lost the rower, but that is okay. I'm not too worried. We'll use the Fent 930. And what I'd like to do is get the very large forage wagon, which is just here. Um, that is 50,000 litres, 42,000, 34. Right, they are in order. Good. Keeps it simple. I suppose I probably should have bought that when we were actually at the store because there is still a possibility of somebody taking it, but... Uh, oh no, we can't buy another one. Yes, we have no money. Right, okay. So I do know the way to the store from here, thankfully. I'm just amazed because we've got 16 players, but it just feels so empty. Usually the server feels packed. Here are at least yeah, one worker, Speedy, oh, and Weasel as well. The store is up here, somewhere on the right, and yeah, we should be able to get it. Oh, lag. Oh, right. I think... Oh, Brian Phillips. I'm trying to get a wide header across a bridge, but the trailer is being stubborn. It is indeed. I could always tow it, I suppose. Although it seems that he has freed himself. Oh no, it is indeed still being stubborn. Uh, I think I think the header may have fallen off actually. If he can't do it, I'll reset it and tow it. I 
think Brian Phillips is... Yep, if I can get off the bridge. I can reset it. Which would probably be easier, actually, although it would mean that he has to go all the way back to the store. Which would be a bit of a pain. So, <laughs> let me just get out of the way. If he's going to drop it off, then... Okay, good, yeah. He's fine. He's fine, but it looks like it's not going to be sticking on there for long. Oh, well. We'll leave him to it. The offer was there. So, what we're going to do is go and get this loading wagon and hopefully get some of that grass and put it into the BGA. Hopefully the synchronizing also doesn't take too long. Okay, welcome Magnus DK, who is the latest player to the server. Um, I've just established that the best way to go is actually on the road to the store and not through a hedge, as I've just done. If I'm losing these two minutes, that's fine. But we need to go quite a long way back to the field where we were before. Carson says, Dagawin, have you ever thought of doing a Let's Play on the Elder Scrolls? And yes, I have. But, oh, now I'm in the way. The truth is, my audience is wrong. Although there may be quite a few people who would be very interested in me doing an Elder Scrolls series, the majority probably wouldn't want it. And, oh, come on. <laughs> Not very good at steering with the lag. Uh, yeah, the majority probably won't want it, and then the the videos would be dragged down, and uh, well, it just wouldn't it wouldn't reflect very well. So, yes, I have considered it, but the wrong audience really. So we'll try and find Ian, who is down here somewhere. Oh, I'll just cut across here. Go on, weasel. A nice flat field, so we can just off road. Can you not? I thought you could um, trade animals if you switch the option on. Thank you. Oh, very slick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we passed each other and I keep getting stuck. Oh, could it get worse? That is a nicer setup. It is. The Massey Ferguson. Although, yeah, they're all Agco, aren't they? So it's pretty much the same. Although the fence are a bit more computery and yeah, different colours and design. Speedy joins the server. Right. So if we can get back to that field. Somewhere down here we need to turn right. We just take next turning right. And then we can of course go over to the field where we need to be and get a full load of 50,000 litres. It is indeed a long way to go though. Is this the right way? Yeah, it is. So yeah, if we can uh, either meet up with a forager down there or just load it up using the pickup on the trailer then we can get a nice full load fairly quickly. But, yeah, we might as well just use the pickup. Oh, th is it just me, or is everything so much more sensitive in multiplayer? Like the steering. When you're in single player, the slightest adjustment wouldn't really do much, but in multiplayer, it, it makes it very, very dramatic. Every control is so sensitive. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But what we're going to do is fill this thing up fast. Let's see how long it takes. Yeah, is that about a thousand litres per second? A bit less, I would say. But yeah, it's it's a very good fill rate. Uh, we do have a Lamborghini tractor, actually, Speedy. I was using it, I think, at the beginning for the rowing. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, Peyton is still wanting me to go to the animal place. Oh. Uh, yes, Peyton. However, I'm going to lose this tractor if I do, so we may have to just drive it over there. 
tell you what, we'll get the full load and we'll drive down there or up there. I don't even know where it is. Then we can fill the trailer up with the livestock. At least as much as we can afford. And yeah, then it can be taken over to the designated area. Who is this? Somebody here? Jacob the Farmer Boy. Alright, 57%. While we are just waiting for this to fill up, I will have a look and see if we can see this area. It's very hard to drive and look though. Can't see it, although you probably can, and also all of the text is over the top of the map, which doesn't really help. I think what I'll do is have to stop and just have a look. This really shouldn't take too long to fill though. But hopefully, again, for those of you who like to watch the farming aspects of the game instead of the modifications and stuff, um, hopefully this is the sort of thing you want to see. Because I know most people do, amazingly. I actually thought a lot of people would be interested in the different stuff that you can do with Farming Simulator. But it would appear that it's not a minority, it's certainly not a minority, but I would say two thirds want to see proper farming and one third want to see mining and that kind of stuff. Right, we're full. So, it's probably easier to see on this map, on here, since we can zoom in. Uh, but, ah, oh, where could it be? There? No, that's the sheep. Um, why is it so hard to see? There. Thank you, everybody who was screaming at the screaming at your own screens, trying to tell me exactly where it is. So it is a long way from here, which is typical, but it's actually not too far from the BGA. So we're not really going out of our way at all. Maybe a bit further north, but yeah, nothing considerable. It's good to have a full load. So yeah, Peyton is probably still asking. Yeah, there was another message that came through probably think I'm never coming but I am. We are going to the animal livestock market. Who do we have here? There is a JCB. Weasel with a trailer. Oh, you distracted me Weasel. <laughs> oh, that's it. Blame the other players for your incompetence. Yeah, I suppose it was the sight of the JCB. You just can't take your eyes off it. I do like fast tracks, obviously, to look at. I have no idea what they're like to actually operate in real life. I suppose this is one of the big problems with people's opinions on tractors. There are so many people who just base it on the colour or the design. Um, obviously, real farmers will base it completely on fuel economy, the cost it is in the first place, how much it is to maintain, customer service from the local dealer, all that kind of stuff, and of course, the colour and the design does play a part in it as well but yeah I mean you're not going to buy a tractor just because of what it looks like because if it was absolute rubbish and continually broke down but looks good you wouldn't sort of think I'm going to keep it because it's it looks good even though it's completely useless you're going to go for the one which is reliable although I think these days most tractors are reliable so you could pretty much go for anything and you'd be okay with it as long as it's the right tractor for your needs. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is the BGA up here. I, I don't actually know. Oh, we have to go onto the Circle Road to get up to the top. It's interesting. The gate is shut. Is this some kind of joke? We have to open it ourselves. Oh right. Somebody must have shut it. Do we have to weigh ourselves in, or is that? A backward weighing scale. It appears to be. That trail is empty. How much do we weigh? 30, almost 33 tons. Sounds about right. Although, actually, no, maybe it doesn't, because grass isn't very dense, is it? Right, Farmer Lewis, we have another load for you. get it tipped. 
Where am I working? Uh, we're working in W7. Put it in a pile so they can push it up. I think I'm a bit in the way. There we go. Right, let's just close it up again and we can now go over to the livestock market and sort stuff out there. So if I was to guess at the right way to go, I would say we actually have to go... Is it west? I'd say this is west. Yeah, southwest. And what is Mikey up to? I don't know. And somewhere up here, I would have thought. It is a long way to go. Um, Peyton has been waiting an exceedingly long time and has probably moved jobs. Uh, yes, I think he has. Yeah. I did say I was coming, but we were so far away. Ah, here is Peyton. We have finally arrived. I can fill up your livestock trailer with livestock. We have actually got more money now as well, so that's good. Uh, it's a very interesting road, this. It's, it's weird. It, it's a country road up a hill. The areas of the map we have never explored. I've got to say, though, it's definitely a map for multiplayer. If I was to do this as a single-player series, it wouldn't really work. I like to be able to explore the entire thing in just a few episodes, instead of having like a, a 30 or 40 episode series. Right, so Life the Market is just here. Here is the trailer. That might be in the trigger, I'm not sure. It is. Uh, what do we want? I really don't know what the best thing to have is. I've lost my tractor already. Typical. Um, cow. Okay, that'll do. Although, very expensive. In fact, more than what we can afford. We'll have to have 12. Definitely said 12. There we go. You have cows. Farmer Lewis, you have taken my pride and joy. Oh well. How many hot air balloons are there around here? They're going to bump into each other. If I just stand here. Stop. Well that worked. Okay. Let's try and find a new machine. Ah, this will do. I think there are a few silage crews around the map. There's two foragers on the go and obviously a few loading wagons as well. So. I don't think they're going to be too far apart, each tractor and trailer load. Ah, oh. Welcome, Ken. Ken took a very long time to join. Oh, it's because there's two, Farmer 103 and Ken at the same time. I'm trying to think of the best screenshot. Can't think of one. You'll have already seen it though. Um, now, oh, here is Olis 9. So, yeah, in the previous episode, it was actually a bit of a failure, wasn't it? Uh, you've probably watched it. Um, we were doing a very similar thing as this episode, the silage, but I had that lightning bolt come down in the field next to me and it knocked all the power off halfway through the video. And then, for some reason, I got some terrible lag and then just completely lost connection anyway. So yeah, it was a bit of a, a non-episode really. But we're continuing that today and basically what we were doing was trying to push up this silage as high as possible. And because it was sort of half an episode, I couldn't fully explain what we were doing. But we're pushing it up high because we're hoping to bring it right out and then obviously it'd be level at the end. But <laughs> the way it was finished... It just looked like we were making some stupid mound right at the back. But yeah, that wasn't the case at all. Um, 
Yeah, I don't think there's any comments there. Yes, we're recording. Um, AFK and stuff. But yeah, that looks good. Nice and uh, full. Really are pushing this pile to its limit. We can really fit everything in here. And it should be compacted too. 60%. Hmm, surprising. You'd have thought it would be more. Toilet break for speedy. Must be a number two as well. Maybe that's too much information. Right, so, yeah, I think uh, Farmer Jed's got the right idea over there. Parking up out of the way. Ready for the next tractor to turn up. Which could be here now, unless that's empty, I'm not sure. I would say it is empty. Dagwin, can you pick up a straw at field 33 to the animals? Right, I lost my loading wagon, so I can't. But whoever does... A reset for La Farmer Lewis. Where is Farmer Lewis? Farmer Lewis. That's my tractor as well. That's the one you took off me. And you have parked it in a tree. Absolutely incredible. Hang on, it's not even got anything in it. I suspect this wasn't working in the correct field. Anyway, yeah, I better reset it for you. Uh, so if we can just locate where we are. Exactly. Where on earth are we? Where am I? We're there, near field 14. Here. So first we've got the Terra Vitesse and also... Where's field 14 gone? There. Hmm. Tractor isn't showing up. Oh, the tractor might have freed itself by tumbling down the hill. Uh, it's a magic tractor. It's recovered itself. Well, that was a stroke of luck. There you are. Have it yourself. Okay, so uh, the Challenger appears to be in here. And I think most people have actually now moved on to feeding the cows. So there's not really any reason for us to do that as well, since there are tons of people doing it. But we could go and grab a really big forager or a loading wagon and just finish off that grass field. Unless it's already been done, of course. I don't know what actually happened. Um, most people who were doing the, the uh, silage just seem to disappear. So I'm not sure. But that can go there. Since that would require a forage harvester to actually throw it in. Peyton is doing a bit of uh, animal work just here. Which is nice. And there was somebody else as well. Probably here? Yeah, here they come. Oh, it's the... Uh, it's the combine crew. But yep, what I would like to do just to finish off with is at least just get a bit more grass out of that field. Brian Phillips still struggling with the combine and header. And I'm going to pull in here. Right, there we go. Uh, I've never really been too keen on using the Challenger for things like trailers, but I think it would be uh, just an interesting thing to do to finish off the episode. So I don't know again where my... Oh, there's one. The Terra Vitesse. Because we reset it as it got crashed. And yeah, the player who did it didn't actually continue with the fence at all. It was just dumped in the field. So I don't know what happened there. But we might as well just grab this as it's here. The JCB is probably a better option. There we go. And somebody cuts an egg. And we'll head down there to W7, field W7. Yeah, a multiplayer with the lag and a vehicle like this, a tractor vehicle, seems to be hard to control. It was hard enough with the tractors with wheels. Uh, I really don't know why the response time is reduced. I suppose it is just because of the connection speed, but yeah, yeah, it really does make a difference. It makes vehicles like this very hard to control. So, is anybody else down here? Or is it just us? Yeah, pretty much just us. Olis9, who was actually doing the silage as well, is somewhere 
down there. Oh, look at this. It's all been cleared here. We did most of it. But there is still some. Speedy says, whereabouts is the UFO? What? Is there a UFO? I have no idea. If there is a UFO, we must go and take a look. Alright, let me just get this switched on. I may have to just ask Speedy what he means by the UFO. There could be one, I suppose. There could be something implemented into the map. Last bit. Oh, Speedy says somebody said there is a UFO. Hmm. I suppose that could be a possibility. Yeah, I don't know. I've not heard of a UFO myself, but there could be one. And yeah, just in the time that we have created this episode, this entire field has grown quite a bit. Uh, at least we've cleared it though. Here comes Jake with a very unique invention. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, the grass pickup with the trailer. Um, that would work if there was already some swath left, but we've actually just finished it, so yeah. A bit disappointing for him, but yeah, there could probably are some other fields as well. Uh, in fact, yeah, Ian was actually cutting the field somewhere up here, so we could go and find that. I've still got space for half, a, well, another half a trailer load. And a bit more. But that's going to need to be cut again. Yeah, not sure where that was. Um, that was where I lost my windrower. That's a fair point. A power washer or a pressure washer. I don't think we have one. I don't remember buying one, so we're going to have to buy one of them. I'll buy one. When we get back to the yard or BGA, we'll place one down. Yeah, okay, this is actually not a bad place to put a pressure washer. Since there is a fair amount of space, also getting the animals all cleaned up can make the tractors a bit mucky. So, oh, no, everybody else wants to come the same way. I was going to park here because it's fairly quiet, but maybe not. Um, well, I'll put it... Where are we? Near field 16. I think it's the cow yard. So if I just go on to placeables and choose the karcher, we can put it somewhere like... Well, hang on, wait, it won't let us place it. Oh, that is annoying. Why would it do that? Um, weird. You don't really want to be washing it in the middle of the road. What about this yard? We can put it here. Right, that'll do. That'll do nicely. If they can't find it, I'll show them later. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Peyton, I am so sorry. I have just jumped on top of you. More like driven on top of you, to be more precise. Um, yeah, I think I'll have to go back and show everybody where the pressure washer is if they don't find it. But, yeah, last thing. We need to go to the BGA, drop all this grass off so they can get it pushed up. I'm assuming there are still some players over there. Okay, maybe not, but, yeah, there will be somebody there later. Very nice scenery on this map, says Carson. That is a very fair point. It is. It's a very nice map indeed. It does look good. Especially when you go and climb the hills and stuff, and then you can have a look back down on the map from higher up. Right. Oh. <laughs> Turning tight with a challenger. They can pretty much turn on the spot, so... Turning at speed with one is not advised. Anyway, here you go. It's not a very big load. Oh, that is so typical. There. Yep, so they can push that up in a second. I'll try and get it in a pile, although that is weird. I think it's adding itself automatically. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> Multiplayer just decided to dump it in one go. Okay, well, there we go. We're going to leave it there. 
I think Speedy did find the pressure washing. Yep. Good. So, yeah. Weasel's got a load of grass. Somebody can take this. And, yeah, it's been a good session. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it as well. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.